Hi, I'm meteorologist Tony Petrocker in the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You've clicked on the Weather Now link on this Sunday night, almost 11 o'clock. Finishing up uh, just a great day today. Look at the high temps, topping out in the upper 40s to around 50. Uh, certainly above average by about 10 degrees. A little cooler the next couple of days, but what we don't see is really any extreme or bitter uh, cold or extreme winter weather. In fact, the better part of the week looks dry. I mean, we may not see our next weather system till uh, perhaps the weekend. So a cool, dry evening, another dry stretch ahead. Of course, after all that rain Saturday night, I'm going to keep things uh, storm-free through at least Friday. And we don't, we're seeing hints of, uh, of a system coming through on the weekend. You know, some of our guidance has it being, you know, perhaps something significant as far as a coastal storm and other guidance saying maybe not so fast. But, you know, that's still six days out. But it is the next kind of interesting thing to watch. And as mentioned before, really no, um, no bitter cold on the way. Uh, even though tomorrow, uh, Monday and Tuesday will be cooler than what we had today. I mean, the afternoons are going to average in that like upper 30s to low to mid 40s. You know, the late nights will be, you know, somewhat chilly as you would expect for, um, you know, late night and early mornings in the middle of winter. But other than that, uh, nothing really bitter or extreme. Got a weak weather disturbance that's passing through uh, the upper Great Lakes. So it is producing uh, some patchy clouds that are coming in right now, but um, some rain and snow. <clears throat> Off to our north and west, we'll stay away, so we'll stay on the dry side. Meanwhile, some precipitation um, across the southern plains, and that's going to, a jet stream will hitch that out to sea off to our south. So, um, you know, looking kind of quiet. Let me show you the temperatures now as of almost 11 o'clock at night. And, I mean, obviously you get that north-south gradient, cool to the north, mild to the south. But even these temperatures in the northern plains, I mean, typically in the middle of winter, which is where we're at right now, I mean, it could be pretty extreme up here. So these are, these are pre numbers are pretty tame. So bottom line, the real cold air is locked up in, uh, in Canada. Now, you don't need super cold air to have snow, uh, but we just don't see any bitter cold over the next uh, several days. So take a look at the temps in the cast uh, overnight, and we'll take you into tomorrow morning. We'll stop things at around 8 a.m. It's the kind of day where we're going to vary between clouds and sun. There'll be some cloudy periods. There'll be some breaks of sun. We'll start the day off around freezing, around 31 Cloud sun mix in the afternoon gets us up into the uh, lower 40s, 41 to 43 on average. Uh, by 6 o'clock in the evening, we're looking dry and uh, cool. Attempts in the uh, middle to upper 30s. And then later, um, Monday night, 11 o'clock, we're around the freezing mark under mainly clear skies. So for your uh, Monday morning at uh, 6 a.m., 32, sunrise at around 7 a.m., by 10 o'clock in the morning, it's up to 40, and we're looking at around 40, 45 during the afternoon. We'll call it partly cloudy, partly sunny kind of a deal. So a cloud-sun mixture and uh, temperatures that will be in the middle 40s. All right, seven-day outlook. Uh, Tuesday, a little cooler. Uh, temps in the upper 30s to low 40s. No another mix of some you know, fair-weather clouds and sunshine. Uh, topping out uh, around 40, 41 by about 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It does turn uh, cooler, much cooler, but nothing really cold uh, for Wednesday and Thursday into Friday morning. Uh, Friday is dry. Then watching the weekend, Saturday, and even Sunday, I would say, we'll probably have to throw in there as well. So we'll just kind of kind of broad brush it right now, go with the chance for mixed precipitation and, you know, whether or not we see some kind of a coastal system in the exact track. Obviously, this far out, we can't get too detailed with it, but it is something to watch, even though it's still... Uh, six days out. So bottom line, a uh, stretch of dry, tranquil weather over the next several days. A little cooler come Monday and Tuesday. I don't think we'll hit 50 like we did today, but still uh, not bad for late January, almost Feb February. So that's your latest Weather Now update. Thanks for logging in. We'll talk to you soon.